going to go ahead and read the ones that are up here. If you didn't write one yet, don't worry about it. Okay. I got Who wrote this one? Me. Hi, hey, those all. That's fine. Okay, very close. Isn't it me part of yeah. it? Yeah. So, go ahead and read it with me. Watashi wa isu ni suwate imasu. Hi, isu ni suwate imasu. はい、いいですね。じゃあ、これは。はい、どうぞ。あ、いいや、手に入れてくれ。今日私は昼ご飯を食べて、あ、風呂で寝ました。はい。questions about the stuff. So a couple of people actually used the new Teflon structure that's new to this chapter, which is te imas. Does everybody remember what imas means as a standalone verb? Yeah. Like to exist. To exist for animate. animate. People and animals, right? Okay. And te imas is a little different. Okay, teimas is closer to the ing in English, is doing, okay, and in some cases with action verbs it generally means that you're doing that action right now as we speak. When you're talking in terms of stative verbs, it often can indicate a state of existence or something that changed and now it's like this. So like kekkon suru is to get married. Kekkon steimasu means to be married. Okay, it doesn't mean that you're in the middle of the wedding ceremony right now. It means that at some point in the past you got married and now you are in the state of being married. Same thing for like, Melbourne um, ni You're living in Melbourne right now. You moved here at some point in the past, or you were born here, and the state of living in this particular place is something that's an ongoing condition, right? It's, it may change at some point in the future, but for the moment, it's a state of being that's consistent over time. Make sense? So those are the basic meanings of te imas. Okay? So we're going to actually go over some vocabulary and then we're going to do some practice with te imas structures. <laughs> and if we get to it, I've got a charades game for us too. Oh, great. Mm -hmm.
makes sense more with adjectives. In the future, when we learn how to do want to do a verb, you'll be able to say don't particularly want to do X verb, but we haven't learned that structure for verbs yet. Okay, so for now, it's going to mostly work with adjectives for you. gained 
and now you're ahead. Okay, make sense? Are these rude to say? Not necessarily. Not in the same sense that it would be in English. Oh, right, so like literally you can, you can say like, oh, like the overweight man over there. And then yeah. you're like, oh yeah, okay. Mm, but yeah, like you say that, it's like, that's kind of rude. Don't, like, don't say that in yeah. your shot. Yeah, it's, Japanese people have a different concept of what is or is not rude. And what they consider to be like a factual statement about somebody's physique isn't necessarily considered rude. and house. Right. So. Yeah. Or you just internally know there, there, and there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, so then Nina? Convenient. Convenient, yes. Shin's that's enough. some reason. 
reason they included this one in this book fabulous. We already had it, right? One last thing we don't have to know. Right, in this chapter. Atama ga i. Atama means head. I, you know. So the head is good is a literal translation of intelligent in Japanese. Atama ga i desu. So someone's got a good head. <laughs> Outsiders, as opposed to addressing him or talking about someone else's dad when you would use or call someone as opposed to. So you would use that instead of watashi no otoso? Yeah. So you, you, if you just say chichi wa sega takai desu, everybody knows that you're talking about your own dad, not someone else's, because you wouldn't use chichi about someone else's father, only about your own. Okay? Kori wa? This is kind of like review, but it wasn't in the vocab list before, only in the kanji list. Kone-san is one one's older sister, and again, this is a respectful, <coughs> a respectful term that can be used either to call your own older sister or to talk about someone else's older sister. If you're talking about your own older sister, you use the term ane, which comes same deal for Onimi-san, which is someone's older brother, respectful term. Kitsune. Kitsune. 
Interesting. That, that they use that on Team Wolf. That's how they. That's how you know you're talking to a real person is if they answer the phone. Oh. Yes, yeah, so for kanji brought it up the other day and said it came from that and like it could oh. be pronounced either way like hmm. the mo or the mo so mo shi mo shi or mo shi mo shi uh, I've never heard it pronounced the long vowel way but that could be I'm not aware of that but that doesn't mean it's wrong <laughs> okay kabudu another wearing verb this is to wear hats or headgear so mo shi o kabudu things that you put on your Boshi and um, helmets. So like, um, a, a samurai helmet was actually called kabuto, I believe, which is from the same root as kabudu, I would think. Okay, and as you can tell, I hand wrote this kanji in because I'd forgotten to type it. <laughs> Kuni is country, and this it's the same kanji that's in koku from the two goku and kankoku. It's the same kanji. Speaking of, I can actually read it from the glasses. It seems really weird to me. <laughs> so, kuni and koku. Hayai. We yeah. had the hayai that meant early before. Now this is the hayai that means fast. They're, they're mm -hmm. different kanji, but they're homophones.
Also, one piece, little Peter, one piece is Japanese for dress. It's a one piece garment. <laughs> so, anything that you pull on over your head or potentially hood, anything that includes like shoulders, usually is Peter. Sumu, to live. Remember, we had Sumbeimas, Sumbeiru. Live in a place. Sumu is like living as in alive, or just living in a place. Mochiron, of course. Utau, the verb to sing. So uta o utau, they are actually the same kanji, both the noun and the verb. Isn't that interesting? Utau, utau. They sound alike and they're written. Yay. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> okay, so this kanji is takai, as in high or expensive, right? Kairu, to return. Uchini kairu, remember that word? There's the kanji for it. Kairu. And just to break it down, you've got a something that's awfully close to a katakana ri and a katakana yo in it. So if you can remember those two components, then you really only have to memorize one little piece. It's not as bad as it looks. It would also a little bit resembles part of the kanji for um, um, fire. For so the, fir the first part of it. Fire. Fire. Uh, you're making a connection that doesn't exist. This is one component. That's this line is part of this. I suppose so. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Uh, this is Nihon Go. Finally, we've got the kanji for Go for a language. Nihon Go. And note that it the speech radical on one side, right? The number five and another mouth on the other side. So as complex kanji go, this is a relatively easy one. Gakko, school. So this gaku is study of, and this ko is like a schoolhouse kind of kanji. So place to study, basically. Tokyo, yes, Eastern capital. This, this is the same kanji as Higashi, remember that one? And this Kyo is, the, it's actually the Kyo that's in Kyoto as well as in Tokyo. It's also in the um, Chinese capitals of Beijing and Nanjing, which mean northern capital and southern capital, respectively. Eastern capital, Tokyo. This is Hoho, literally high school. <laughs> Don't get much more literal than that. <laughs> this is Hairu, as in Ofuro ni Hairu, not to be confused with Hito or Ni no Jin. This kanji is when handwritten, written like that, as opposed to that. It's like the reverse, it's like a mirror image of hito. Okay, so the, the print font does that weird little bend on top instead, but in handwritten form, most people just write it a slant like that, the reverse of hito. Okay, so this is Hairu. Thanks. Let's look at the shoulder line first in the um, circle. In the circle order, really? Okay. They write it like that versus that. Okay. Yeah, I think it depends on which language you learn kanji in first. Since I learned Chinese first, I tend to do Chinese stroke order, which is not always the same as what Japanese teaches. Size, small. 
here's that cool again as kodomo, child, right? You'll notice that a lot of um, Japanese girls' names end in ko, Kyoko, Hiroko, Masako, um, etc., etc., that are generally written with that ko that means child, which is one reason why more modern feminist moms are often choosing other names for their daughters, not ones that end in ko anymore. Because they got to adulthood and decided they didn't like being called child of such and such all the time. <laughs> Questions about the vocab? Also have time for a charades activity. My other class got to some charades today, which was kind of fun. Okay, so yeah, goes in class. They got as far as that activity. Okay, so let's look at nani wo ka? So let's see, Marianne, are you gonna read aloud with us or yeah. the, the um, question? Okay, for the example, part A, and random song, Exa the an example oh, answer. Do hyaku nanaju roku page desu. The very first page of the issue. Okay. Right. See this ka? No. Starts with Mary san wa. You see how it works? Teimas for what she's currently doing at the moment. 
メアリーさんは何をしていますかメアリーさんは本を読んでいますはい、本を読んでいますはい、じゃあ次メアリーさんは何をしていますかメアリーさんは泳ぐ泳ぐ So, グー changes to イデ Try to resist the temptation to drop that e in the imas part. In anime, you hear it pronounced that way a lot because that is slang. It's a contraction. But for now, we're doing the full form so that we can get used to practicing it, so that you will develop the ability to switch back and forth between the formal full form and the contraction, which is more casual. So, oyoideimasu. Taking pictures of flowers. Hana no shashin o totemas. So you're taking the flowers picture. So you could like an apostrophe s. Hana o totemas. No, because that sounds like you're picking flowers. Because toru can also mean to take. So hana o totemas sounds like you're taking the flowers. But it's shashino totemas. You're taking the photo of the flowers. So that applies to other objects too, then? Yeah, like if you're taking a picture of your friend, tomorachi no shashino totemas. Yeah, not tomorachi o totemas, which sounds like you're stealing them away. Do you know the kanji for mine? Um, it's a good idea to start getting used to it. <coughs> I don't remember if it's taught in this chapter or a future one, but it's coming pretty soon. Okay. Okay. san wa nari o Mary san wa shukudai o shiteimasu ka? Make sure it's shiteimasu, not shiteimasu. Because she's doing it, not knowing it. You don't have to. Uta. Miyari san wa ima uta temas. Uta o utte ima. Uta, sorry. Uta o utatte ima. Uta o utatte. I couldn't find san on there, so I just had uta temas. Okay, so it's utatte ima. Okay. So it's an utsuru category of verb, right? And so utsuru, the final syllable changes to small to te, so it's utatte imas. Okay. And what she's singing? She's singing a song, so uta o utatte. I missed just the uta o. Okay. And yes, you can insert ima if you want to. Ima, 
歌を歌っています。ねえ、アリさんは、何をし、うん、してましたしていますかしていますあ、oh, はい、していますかはい。ナレイさんは、エルセナゲーズのタクシー。はい。はい。タクシーを、タクシーさんと、とタクシーさんと、話しています。はい、話しています。たけしさんと話しています。You could also add in what language they're speaking with a particle o if you want to. So, たけしさんと日本語を話しています。Speaking Japanese with たけし。If you wanted to make it more like speaking in Japanese with him, たけしさんと日本語で話しています is also possible. But for now, I think 日本語を話しています is what you've learned thus far. いいですね。ナリさんは何をしていますかはい。Okay. Are we skipping you for this part? じゃあ、ナリさん。ナリさんは。Mary san wa, and then the person <coughs> o. Okay, so um, I, I don't use to, I use o. Oh, okay, so Mary san wa, Takashi san o. Mo. Matte. Matte. Matte mas. Okay, matsu is the verb to wait, right? So, matte mas is waiting. And the reason it's o is because he's the one she's waiting for. If you use to, it would be waiting with. You see the difference? So if you said Takeshi san to matte mas, she's waiting with Takeshi for something to happen. But if she's standing there waiting for him because he hasn't shown up yet, Takeshi san o matte mas. Make sense? Cha dozo. メアリさんは何をしていますかメアリさんはゲームをしていますはいなんメアリさんは何をしていますかメアリさんはテニステニスをしますはい、しますはい、yeah. しますはい、しますIt's, it doesn't have a small tsu in it, so the emphasis shifts to the te. Shiteimasu. Shiteimasu. Okay. Mary-san wa nani o shiteimasu ka? Mary-san wa ocha o yondeimasu. Hai. Mary-san wa nani o shiteimasu ka? Mary-san wa denwa o kakete kakete imasu. Hai. Denwa o kakete imasu. Hai. Any questions about those? Example no shitsumo no kite. Ken san, can you read the example part B there, the answer? B? Let Julian read first though. Gogo niji goro nani o shite mas ka? Shite. Shite mai imashita ka? Hi. Okay, so everybody understand what's going on here? So notice that the te imas was is doing. Te imashita was doing. Okay, do you see how that worked? So the same thing we just did, we're just switching it. Yeah, we're just switching to past tense. What they were doing in the past instead of what someone is doing right now. Make sense? 
So, and notice that the te form is not the part that conjugates, right? Te form is just te form. There's no tense inherent in te form. So the iru part of the te iru structure is what can conjugate. So te imas is doing, te imashita was doing, tabete imasen would be is not eating, right? Tabete imasen deshita would be was not eating, right? So all of the tenses that work with <coughs> mas forms, tabemas, tabemasen, tabemashita, tabemasen deshita, all of those same forms work with te imas forms as well. So you can say tabete imas is eating, tabete imasen is not eating, tabete imashita was eating, Tabete imasen deshita, was not eating. Could you, oh, could you use yeah. this with the te listing sentence structure? Or? Well, if you use it that way, only the final one would <coughs> be in the full form, right? So if you, if you want to say what was going on yesterday, kino asa okite, I woke up, I ate my breakfast, and then I was watching TV. Okay, so the, in which case, the tense, <coughs> the te mas form sounds like it's mostly applying to the TV part, not so much to the other parts of the sentence. Because uh, presumably you weren't waking up eating breakfast and watching TV all simultaneously, mm -hmm. right? Well. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Ja. Ken-san, do you want to try asking the question or do you want us to skip you for that yes, part? Yes, please. Okay. Ja, Jarekko-san, can you ask the question for Ichiban? Um. Okay, so <coughs> Okay, so the goal goal was PM, so AM would be Go Zen. Okay, and then Roku. So that's Roku Zen. No, Go Zen. And then the number and then the G. <coughs> Goes in Roku G. And then Goro. Okay, goes in Roku G Goro. And then just complete the question. Nani o shite imashita ka? Goes in Roku G Goro. Nani o shite imashita ka? Hi. で、寝ていました。はい。じゃあ、2番の質問をどうぞ。え、餃子の8時、え、ご飯の食べていました。はい、いいですね。じゃあ、3番。Goes in Ju what? You left something out. I thought I said Goro. Yeah, but what goes in between the Ju and the Goro? Not about ten, it's about ten o'clock. Oh, gee. There you go. Okay. 
There you go. <coughs> Kogo, Juji. Gozen. Gozen. Uh, go, Gozen, Juji, Goro, Nani, O, Shite, Masu. Okay. okay, you were just waking up at that point? Wait, I, I said okay. <coughs> Did I get that right? Okay. Okay. That would be like I was waking up. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay so. Okay. It's afternoon, so the twelve thirty is like lunchtime ish. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Hi. 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 Roku. Goban is Rokuji. Oh, oh, sorry. I was I went like straight to the right. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so um Roku right is uh Gogo Rokuji Goro Nani no Shte Mashta Typical Uchi Mi Kai Te Mashta. Hi. Uchi Mi Kai Te Mashta. You said no, but really? yeah. I said it in my brain about five million times. Hi, Sao Abite Mashta. Hi. Any questions? Okay. So what I'm going to do next is, let's see, what time is it? 5.30 already? Oh, wow. Okay. So we'll, we'll do one round and see if we have time for more. So everybody gets a card. And so I'm going to give them all out to everybody so you can have a second to read yours and see what it says. Okay. Did you get a No, I just, it's funny because it's something that I read already. Like, <coughs> no, we just said it live. There's this one. Okay. Oh, you have to go? Yeah. Oh. That's abstract. <laughs> So some of these are going to be more challenging than others. If you can't think of a way to ask yours out and would you would like to change, now is your chance. I was, I was, I was all. just thinking, what if I get this? What do I do? And then I looked at it, my card, and I went, I got it. Where is... Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're going to act it out, and then everybody's going to try to guess in Japanese what it is. Hi. Okay, you get to go next then. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is really abstract. Um, <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> hi. Um, oh, um. Uh, no, I'm Or whatever. Um, what? Yeah. Hey, good job. 
や
Are they famous? have time to do another round? Let's see. Yep, we've got time. So, here's another one. Okay. Pass in the ones you've got, and I'll, no, I, oh, okay. these, this, okay, pass me the ones you've got, and here's, Okay, who wants to go first? Anybody? Mm. Oh, okay. I will go first. <coughs> I want to go What's the reverse? After yeah. she cut it, so it's her turn. turn. Okay, uh, yeah. it's her turn. What is it? <coughs> to return? Oh, that's last turn. Yeah. yeah. I can't think of it. I can't remember the picture of it. Uh, Hi, Kaiste Ma. I said that like three times. You did? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't fight, hear you, apparently. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Whoops, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those okay, the easy one. Oh, God, I should get off my chair. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
Okay, who's ready? I you would take I don't know like, how like, people would ever get this without like... <coughs> okay. You can use anything. I saw a T on your card. That's cheating. You can't talk now. up with something for <laughs> but that was fun though. Thank <laughs> you. 